Hey guys, Ray the Video Guy here, and today I want to share with you a quick tip that's going to allow you to get clickable links in your YouTube videos, much like we used to have with annotations. Of course, now you know annotations have been taken away, we're stuck with YouTube cards, but we also have another option, and I'm going to show you exactly how that works. As you can see in the image up here, there's a little clickable banner right on the corner there that allows people to click back to your website. Personally, for me, I find this to be better than cards because it stays on the screen longer and it's more in your face and it gets more people to click. Unfortunately, it requires doing a little bit of a trick, and I'm going to show you exactly how that works right now. Okay, so what we're going to be showing you today is how to add a banner just like this one right here to the corner of your videos. So anytime somebody's watching your videos, they can see this banner, click on it, and go back to your website. This, of course, is kind of a replacement for the old annotations, which we used to be able to have on our videos that were clickable. But of course, those annotations didn't work on mobile, whereas this banner does work on mobile. Unfortunately, we have to do a little bit of a... I don't want to say the word hack, but we have to do a little bit of a trick in order to get this to work. And I'm going to show you how that works right now. So I'm going to switch over to a different channel here. This is a channel that I just made for a new product coming out called Vid Agency Ally. And the way this works is we're going to choose one of our videos here. So if we click on this video right now, and we'll pause it, okay, you'll see that there's no banner on this right now. But if we go into edit video, You'll notice that unlike the other one, we don't have the banner, and you'll notice something else if you've got a sharp eye. Let's go back here for a second. You'll notice that right here, we have something called a call to action overlay. And if we click on that, you'll see this is where we put in that information that we see on the banner. So green screen studio bonus, ray the video guide slash GSS, and the actual destination, which is ray the video guide.com slash GSS. Okay, but you'll notice that in this one, we do not have this at all. It's missing completely. So I'm going to show you why that's missing and how we can add that to this particular video. So the way we do this is by going into the back end of our YouTube. And we're going to go to the video manager. And there's two things we can actually do to get this going. The first is we can come here and we can hit promote. Now, Promote allows you to run a, a Google AdWords ad to the video. And if you click on that, it's going to take you here, and you can hit Promote Your Video. You can put in a budget, and you can get started by hitting Next Step and creating a headline and a description. So I'm just going to make one up here quickly. Uh, video uh, Vid Ally, or Vid Agency, rather. Ally. Oops, let's put a space there. And I'm just going to put bonus. And we're probably going to run out of space here, but I'm going to try anyway. All right, bonus and review, that fit. So down here, we can put in information about this. So information on vid agency ally and some awesome bonuses okay something like that and you can choose the thumbnail here if you if you uploaded a, a, a custom thumbnail that'll show up here as well uh, I'm just gonna choose this one here for now we're gonna hit next step and now it's gonna tell you to sign into AdWords and rather than follow this I'm gonna take you directly into my AdWords so I can show you how you can do this from the other end so if you click that AdWords button, it's going to take you inside of AdWords. For me personally, I like to have my AdWords already open so I can just do this without going through that entire process. But once you're inside of AdWords, all you need to do is create an ad for that video. In this case here, I'm going to hit New Campaign. I'm going to choose Video. And now you can choose whether you want this for leads, website traffic, product and brand consideration, brand awareness and reach. In this case, we're going to choose website traffic, but quite honestly, for what we're doing, it doesn't even matter which one you choose. We're going to hit continue. And now we're going to give this a name. I'm going to call it Vid Agency. And we're going to give it, once again, a budget of $5 a day. And don't worry, you're not going to spend $5 a day unless you choose to. This is just to set this up. So down here, you can leave all of this the way it is. Uh, target CPA, I'm just going to put in 50 cents or 60 cents, I guess. 
And then down here, we can leave most of this the same. We're gonna give the ad group a name. I'm gonna call this once again, vid agency. Okay, you don't need to do any targeting unless you're really going to run an ad in which case then you might want to do some targeting. We're going to leave that blank just because we're not really doing any targeting for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I'm actually going to go back to our video. And I'm going to copy the URL for that video. I'm going to paste that in here, just like so, and there it is. And so now we've got the options of the in-stream ad, the video discovery ad, the bumper ad. Just leave it on in-stream and you'll need to fill all this out even though we're not really going to use it. We're gonna to need to fill this out anyway. So I'm gonna put uh, raythevideoguy.com. Uh, this doesn't allow you a lot of spaces. So I'm gonna try and put vid agency. We'll see if it fits. Okay, that seemed to work, good. In fact, it's 28 out of 35, so we made it. Call to action, again, this one in here only gives you 10, don't worry, in the actual call to action we do on the other side is it gives you more. So we're just gonna put, uh, could be something like, get it now. Because that's actually what's in this box right here. The headline is where we wanna put vid agency. Again, right now, none of this truly makes any difference because we're not gonna keep this anyway. And now we can either use an auto-generated or upload an image. I'm just gonna leave it as auto-generated. And we're gonna hit save and continue. Oops, actually we're gonna give it add a name first. Vid agency one. Save and continue. Okay, and so now you can see this campaign has been created and it's ready to go. And so now we can continue on to that campaign. And you'll see that the campaign is in here. And right here you've got this green button and that says that the campaign is running or at least it's under review to be running. Now you can click on your actual ad here if you want. And from either that last page or from here, again, you'll see the green dot here. What we're gonna do now is we're actually going to come in and just pause this. And so what we've basically done is we've created an ad, but we've now paused it so the ad is not going to be running. We're not gonna be charged any money for this, okay? But what happens now, because we've done this, when we go back to our YouTube video, you'll see now we have the call to action overlay. So now if we click on the call to action overlay, we can give it a headline again. So we can say vid agency bonus page or something similar. And again, in here you get 25 characters to use and that's great. Over here, we're gonna put Ray the video guy dot com, oops. Slash vid agency. And the destination is actually going to be the same. I'm going to put the www there. And now we're all set. So all we have to do is hit save changes. And now our call to action overlay will appear on that video. Now you'll notice as we just did this, we're not seeing it on our video here like we did with this one here, even though we're in the back end. The reason for that is when you're logged into your own account, which I'm actually not logged into this account, which is why it's allowing me to see that. This one I'm actually logged into, and so therefore it's not going to show me my own uh, banner ad. So what we wanna do is we're gonna just copy this, and I'm gonna open up a private browser tab, or an incognito window as they call it. And if I put that in there, I should be logged out. Yep, there we go. And so now you can see our banner is in the corner there. And if we were to click on that banner, it would take us right to our page. Well, there you go. That's how to add a clickable banner to any video, even if you're not running a real ad. I hope this helps you out. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll be glad to answer them for you. And we'll see you in the next video.